Hello again everyone, welcome back to Wrestling Insight. It's Blaze here and I'm back with a couple of big news items that have been circulating over the last 48 hours or so. First off, it seems on the surface that WWE has backtracked from their original plans with Hollywood Dwayne versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania this year. Or maybe this was the plan all along, as last night at a well, quite honestly, extremely entertaining WrestleMania kickoff show, Cody stepped up to Dwayne to let him know that he isn't taking his spot at WrestleMania against Roman because unlike Rock, Cody says he earned it by winning the Royal Rumble. The Rock proceeded to slap Cody clean in the mouth sending him down on his butt and setting us up for some, I mean, seemingly great WrestleMania build-up from here on. Hey, I'm happy with this as far as storytelling goes. WWE has put it into overdrive with the build-up for the Cody Roman rematch and throwing The Rock in there, going full heel mode is a huge addition to the whole thing, if this isn't fumbled. Cody must win at Mania to avoid complete outrage. If they go with a dirty finish here and Hollywood Dwayne helps Roman retain, huh, my goodness, can you imagine the outrage? The YouTube and TikTok videos, the social media post, screaming for everyone at WWE's heads afterwards. I can, and I don't want to be subjected to them. I don't know about you. But the bottom line on this is, in the end, I still think exactly what I thought the last time I commented on this whole debacle. It was a distraction. A heavily choreographed and publicized distraction that all of the hardcore marks bought into hook, line, and sinker. And it also buried the Vince McMahon talk. And it's continuing with coverage of the overly dramatized kickoff show. Even if it does make for good television. Well, I'm not going to stop talking about Vince McMahon and all of the dirty deeds that have allegedly been carried out in that company by not only him, but many, many people inside WWE over the many years of its existence, especially The Rock. Yes, Dwayne, you may be entertaining me slightly more now with your natural, just complete a-hole personality. But we've still got to remember his Saturday Night Live skits where he made light of some very disgusting predatory topics trying to turn them into jokes along with the many other questionable things he's done and said over the years after he sold out for Hollywood. In fact, I'm working on my next video featuring a woman's claims that sound very, very similar to Ashley Massaro's that I covered a couple of days ago here on the channel. Please check that video out if you haven't yet, by the way. I feel it's my best work yet, but this poor woman's claims, if true, it's all allegedly, of course, but if true, they're even more sinister and disgusting than the late Miss Massaro's. And guess what? Hollywood Duane is at the forefront. Yeah, keep throwing out your desperate distractions so people don't dig deep enough to find stuff like that, right? Too bad, it's not working on me, and I'm going to keep bringing the truth to my listeners. If you're interested to hear, hear about uh, this story that I'm working on, please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for notifications if you haven't yet, so you're sure not to miss it. Before I finish this one off, however, and get back to work on that next video I just mentioned. I want to kind of briefly cover this Scott D'Amour stuff in TNA. As you guys know, if you've been following the channel for a while, for the past few years, I've been an avid Impact Wrestling and now once again TNA fan. And all of that time, the product I enjoyed was the work of Scott D'Amour. I even gave the man Booker of the Year in the awards show I did at the end of 2023 here on the channel. 
and I've been regularly covering and talking about TNA since around that same time. So this news of Anthem firing Scott as they look to even further lower their shoestring budget and create more corporate synergy. I mean, I've got to be honest, it's pretty frustrating for me. I was of the impression that the company was on the verge of breaking through into new levels of growth. You know, maybe landing a big TV deal, not cutting its own head off by letting go of the heart and brains behind the whole operation. I don't know. I'll, I'll be kind of keeping an eye on how things go over there the next couple of weeks, but will I be covering any of it here on the channel? I don't know. I guess time will tell. Right now, I'm not even sure if I'll be watching. It may just be more of you know, reading other fans' comments online to gauge if it's worth my time moving forward. And I know that's a pretty brutal statement, but I'm a little bit frustrated right now at Anthem's business decisions. Anyways, everyone, I thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. Take care, love yourselves, and each other.